You're right. This is not an emotional appeal for you to give to new beginnings so that we can survive the coronavirus pandemic. It's important that our giving be cognitive and purposeful. Our attitude is critical. Ananias and Sapphira weren't judged because they held back part of the proceeds of the sale of the land. They were judged because of the impure motives of their heart. The chapter before we read about Ananias and Sapphira, we read about another man named Barnabas. He had land and he sold it and he gave to the work of the ministry of the early church. He gave because he believed in the ministry of the early church, proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ. I love what Peter told Ananias. He said, Ananias, when you had the land, it was yours to do with as you pleased. And when you sold the land, the money was yours to do with as you pleased. God has made us managers or stewards over certain assets and finances in our lives and we're responsible to be a, a proper manager of those funds. And so if God would lead you to give to new beginnings, we would ask that you prayerfully and thoughtfully consider that and do it because you believe in the work of the ministry that we're doing now. Nothing that our lead pastor, Pastor John, has said leads me to believe that he wants us just to survive until this is over and we get back to normal. Everything he has done is to minister to the needs that are present among us now. He's purposely put together Sunday morning services so that we can be together even when we aren't together. He's asked for prayer requests to keep coming in, and there are prayer warriors in this church who are praying over your needs every day. Practical ministry is going on, and now we're ministering to people on the front lines and people who are needy and are being hurt by what is going on. He's asked his pastors to have encouraging words for the congregation and I know people have been encouraged by Pastor John and Pastor Randy, Pastor Marissa, Pastor Brad, Pastor Mark, but I'm the Neanderthal of the group technologically, so I recruited Tori to do one on my behalf, and if you haven't seen her video, you're missing something special. I have forwarded that email to Georgia, to South Carolina, to Western New York. My bosses have seen that video. We want to do the work of the ministry for the needs that are present now. We're not in survival mode. And if God would lead you to contribute to new beginnings, you can do so by visiting our website. You can text to give. You, you can't bring an offering and put it in the boxes at the front of the sanctuary. But you can send it in snail mail to Post Office Box 30, Wampsville, New York, 13163. We love you very much. We pray for God's protection over you. We pray for God's provision for you and for your family. And most of all, we pray for God's peace to fill your heart. God bless you.